Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm answering the question, which version of FL Studio should I get? There's four main versions, Fruity Edition, Producer, Signature, and all plugins bundle, all priced differently. And long story short, I highly recommend starting with the Producer Edition, and in this video I'll explain why. There's two things I wanna say first. One is that every version of FL Studio comes with lifetime free updates, which is an amazing policy by ImageLine. So whichever one you get, you're still going to get all the latest versions. And the second thing I want to say is that if you get, uh, say, the producer edition, but later you want to upgrade to the signature or the all plugins bundle, you can pay the difference and upgrade. It's not like you've wasted your money and you have to buy a whole new pack again. The only mistake you can make is buying an expensive one and then wishing you'd bought a cheaper one. So I highly recommend starting with the producer edition. This is because the Fruity Edition is limited, and FL Studio say this themselves, whereas the Producer Edition is the first one where you will have every single thing you need to write, arrange, produce, mix, and master professional quality music, whether that is acoustic, you know, recording uh, microphones and instruments, or whether that is cutting-edge electronic productions using synthesizers and everything else. You have all the effects you need, equalizers, delays, reverbs, compressors, distortion, everything you could possibly need is already inside the producer edition. And it works for, I would say, 90% of producers. However, there are a few features of signature edition, which is the next version up, which are very helpful for some users. The first is a plugin called Newtone, which is not available in producer edition, but is available in the signature edition. This is a manual pitch correction tool which allows you to correct the pitch of vocals, instruments, synths, and it allows you to just get everything perfectly in tune if that's what you want to do. There's also a second plugin available in the signature edition called Grossbeat or Grossbeat, depending on how you say it, which is a time and volume manipulation plugin that's really cool. It's not essential, but it helps in certain genres. It's a time and volume manipulation plugin, so you can take a pretty normal sound like this, and you can stutter and gate it to make it sound like this. Or you can take a loop or a melody like this. And you can make it sound like this. You can also do all sorts of wild time manipulation with this plugin. So it's not essential, but it can be helpful. But for the vast majority of users, if you don't think you need those two plugins, please start with the producer edition. I do think it's the most fully featured place to start and is the best value for money. And to add on top of that, what I want to say is there's a lot of other free plugins. So effects and synthesizers, delays, reverbs, EQs. There's a ton of amazing free plugins, which I love to promote. I'll leave a link to my most recent free plugin video just here and in the description. So if you feel that the producer edition maybe doesn't quite have enough flavor or character for you, you can download all those plugins for free, use them in your productions, and it will just make the program even more fully featured. So I wanted this to be a really quick video. There's no need to say really any more than that, besides to just remind you that I have a remix contest that I'm running with Closer. It's, uh, it has an incredible prize pool. There's tons to be won. If you check the last video on my channel, you can enter. There's still loads of time to create a remix and submit it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you, and I hope to see you in the next video too. Bye for now.